I will show you how to install Reason 5 onto Linux. I use uh, Play on Linux because I think this graphic interface is easy to use. First, I go to Configuration and first we create a new virtual drive and I choose 1510 and I just call it region, region 5 and now we have this new virtual drive here and uh, before I go to Wine I will show you how to install Ableton Live from an uh, ISO file <coughs> First you uh, run this uh, program here and uh, choose your ISO file and you choose loop and mount and enter your password Amazon password and you must uh, choose loop or else uh, Wine cannot see uh, this uh, mount here. So now we go to Vine and we could see drivers here and you can see uh, Vine can see this uh, ISO file. So that works fine. And uh, here I will recommend that you uh, emulate and virtual uh, desktop and I uh, tell you why later and uh, one more thing you have to choose uh, Windows oh, Windows 7 press OK and now we just have to run the installation file and here we have the, the CD or the ISO file and we just run the setup file and choose defaults and now it's installing just like on Windows And you can uh, choose uh, restart the computer now. It's just the virtual computer is restarting. So now Ableton Live is almost installed. We can uh, make a shortcut now if you want to. Just choose reason number five. Reason five. Reason five and that's so now we have reason 5 here and uh, we run it again and we agree so now if you have not choose the virtual uh, desktop this uh, window here will pop up behind this and you cannot see you cannot uh, get it in front again. That's why I recommend uh, running in a virtual desktop under the installation. And now uh, and now uh, after I uh, registration. Uh, uh, Ableton Live copy the the sound files, sound banks to its home directory. And uh, now you can choose your language and press next and uh, next. And here choose your sound card as you wish. And I don't have a keyboard. Skip. 
Workstation later, I already has Workstation. So now Reason 5 is running and playing. And uh, if you want to, you can disable the virtual desktop now and it will still run fine. There have been some updates since I started making this video. We go here and uh, you see there is a uh, new Wine version called 1.6 release 2 reason 5 menus. You can find it uh, here and uh, see no now it's not here because I have installed it already. I have tried with that uh, with I have tried with uh, this version, but uh, it doesn't work. But uh, this version wi works fine with the uh, reason. There have been some updates since I started making this video here. Wine have released uh, this uh, version here. I have not installed a reason with uh, this wine here. I uh, installed it with uh, the 141. I told you that I choose this, but it's not correct. Uh, choose this and to install if you have uh, trouble installing it, this uh, wine here. So you can see here for yourself. But uh, everything works fine. So <coughs> you can see I removed my virtual desktop after installing, and the sound works fine. Maybe maybe you cannot hear it, but it works fine. And look here, it works pretty well. Everything seems to work. Fine. Thank you for watching this video here. I hope you like it. Uh, leave some comment if you have some questions. Maybe I can answer them.